Hi there, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about concatenation within PHP. Now if you've ever come across the word concatenation you'll understand what it means or if you've programmed before you might understand uh, how to concatenate different variables together uh, or how to print out things and then concatenate variables in so you can view them uh, in a sentence if you like. Now in PHP it's uh, really really simple. Let's start out by creating just a few variables. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable called day and this is going to be equal to the day of the week. So today it is Thursday and I'm going to create another variable called um, let's say uh, date. Um, and this is just going to be simply equal to the day um, in numerical value. So it's the 31st today. Now, um, down here, if I wanted to say echo out the day and then the date, so eventually I want it to say this. So let's just echo it out so we know what we're doing. Thursday, uh, I could say the date is. Thursday 31, just, just to make things simple. We could uh, eventually faff around with ST, but that would use if statements, which is uh, later on. So the date is Thursday the 31st. This is what we want our program to display. Um, we could in fact incorporate the year in as well. So I'm gonna say year equals, I'm gonna say 2011. Now the reason I'm doing this is, for example, if it was the year 2000, Oh, in actual fact, it would work. So yeah, okay, we'll keep this as integer data. So the year equals 2011. So we've got a variable called day, we've got a variable called date, and we've got a variable called year. So eventually we want this program to display the date is Thursday the 31st, 2011, but we want it to use these variables rather than um, a predefined uh, set of text that we've written out. So the, the way we do this is we can either use our double quotation marks, which is going to make life a lot easier for us, or we're going to use singles. Now I'm going to use singles at first because it's a lot better for you to learn with single quotation marks, and then you can go ahead and be lazy and use the doubles if you like. So with the single quotation marks, I'm going to start typing the date is, okay, so I've left a space here on purpose. Now after the last um, single quotation mark, but before the line terminator, we want to add a full stop. So it's just a single dot uh, on this line. Then what we need to do is just simply address the uh, variable that we want to echo. So this is still all included on the echo line. If we put the day here, it's still going to echo out day even though we haven't sort of pre-put echo in front of it. So concatenation just basically means we're joining something on to the string that we're already echoing. So the day is day, then we want a space, so I'm going to concatenate on um, a piece of string data with just a space inside, and I'm going to concatenate on as well with another dot, date, and then I'm going to concatenate on another space, so we're using the full stop and then the uh, space here with the um, with the, uh, single quotation marks and then eventually we're going to do year. Now obviously we don't need to concatenate anything else onto the end of that because that is the end of our line. So now we can just preview, let's uh, have a look in our browser, refresh and you can see that it says the date is Thursday 31st 2011. Now what if I was to make a change here? So I could say it's Friday the 32nd, 2011. I know that's an unrealistic uh, value. We'll go for 30 then, just so you don't get confused. So we could say it's Wednesday. Okay, so it's Wednesday the uh, 30th, 2011. Let's refresh. And you can see that's updated itself. Again, the same with the uh, year. Um, this can be changed as well and it will just simply update the output. So this is the harder but faster way uh, to sort of echo variables within um, string data as well. Obviously we can also echo things onto the end of this. For example, we might do a uh, strong tag and then we might put a strong tag just before here. So the way this is gonna work is we're echoing out um, normal text, a bit of HTML just before we declare this in within the concatenation. Then we have a space, we have the date, we have a space, we have the year, and then we end with ending the HTML. 
So let's refresh and you can see that that's turned bold. So this is a the better way to do things, but now let's take for the easy way. So let's echo the date. Oh, in fact, we're using double quotation marks. Um, now you're going to see how easy it is to do it this way. The date is day, date, year, and that's it. We don't need to concatenate because we're using variables within a string. Now you might think that this will output dollar sign year. In actual fact, if we had single quotation marks, you can see what happens. You can see that it's literally outputted um, the dollar sign day, the dollar sign date, the dollar sign year. When in actual fact, um, we want it to reference this vari these vari these three variables here. So all we do is change these to double quotation marks and you'll see that that magically updates itself and puts the variables in there for you. So it's it's totally personal preference like I've explained before single quotation marks are faster, concatenation gets you used to looking at complex code and understanding what's outputted where so I'd always recommend using the single quotation marks and the concatenation for each variable. So that's basically concatenating within PHP.